welcome back to skincare and beauty with Perky Perkins. So right now, or today, what I'm doing is actually throwing in the hat for the James Charles influencer search, I guess. Um, so just a little background about me. I am almost 35 years of age and um, I started doing YouTube because I noticed that there wasn't much representation on the platform answers or just women in general of which were over 30 most brands nowadays they look for very young uh, absolutely talented by all means um, artists many of times I've noticed that brands don't necessarily include older women or men when they do their searches, um, most of the people which are affiliates on the PR list are, are pretty young. You know, they're definitely way under 30. And my biggest thing has always been, why isn't there people my age? Why isn't there people with my issues out there showing off product, just, you know, displaying it on their channels? And yeah, like, why isn't there um, a proper representation between the brands? Not only, you know, sex, background, and stuff like that, it's, how about age? We also buy, we use, and consume products as well. And I think it's about time that we get recognized as well, you know, is like, a handful of influencers that are you know in the millions by all means but they're the rare and the few and they got their start many years prior but for us newer ones that are just beginning it's it's almost like good luck because we're gonna be missed at all times I definitely feel that our age group should be represented because if you really think about it, you want to be able as a brand to showcase your product on all skin types, on all backgrounds. We buy makeup, we like color, we like natural, we like a little bit of everything. There's not just one type of woman, not one type of man. If you're not showcasing your products with everyone, guess what? You're gonna, for starters, if you're in retail stores, you're gonna have a lot of returns because you don't have anyone showing it off and reviewing the products. Second, your name's not gonna get out there as much as you think. You are not being inclusive. In a day and age where everyone's talking about inclusivity within the makeup community, you are not being inclusive. So again, I really hope that you really consider whether I'm chosen or not. It's, you know, when you're looking at entries, you also look at more mature, older people for this search because there should be proper representation throughout everywhere. Again, not just based off our skin tone, it should be our age. And I hope brands start acknowledging it as well because guess what nine times out of ten we have the buying power we are the ones buying the stuff for ourselves and we're also the ones buying it for our kids because guess what most of them don't work when they're teenagers so who's buying your merch who's buying your makeup if let's say something I didn't want but my daughter wanted it I have a teenage daughter mom and dad have to buy it right so you have to be able to appeal to two people in one household thank you for the opportunity and in no way shape or form am I bashing any younger influencers because in the end of the day guess what we all learn from someone and I actually learned a lot of the tips and tricks from the younger influencers that were in their 20s as well but I took 
little snippets and had to change along the way because things that work for them do not work for me because I have different issues. Um, besides having hooded eyes, we have texture on our eyelids. We have a lot more texture on our skin, so, so on and so forth. So again, thank you again for the opportunity and I really hope that you consider um, a larger age range in the influencers you're looking for in the search. Bye you guys.